Alright, so in December, I was going to a Comic-Con here in Pittsburgh called the uh, Steel City Con. One of the guys that was going to be there was Biff from Back to the Future. I ordered on Amazon from a company, the, uh, the Almanac, the Gray Sports Almanac, and the, it came with the receipt and the bag all together. In total, well, the bag, well, the bag, the sports almanac, and all that stuff cost twenty-three dollars plus shipping, so it was close to twenty-five to twenty-seven dollars altogether. With the bag being so fragile and big, this is what it came in. Something like this, and as you can see, it's bent, it's folded, and all this, which already made me believe that the bag would be damaged. I contacted a seller. It was uh, af after the Comic Con. Contacted a seller. It was a couple months later. They sent me another bag in the envelope again. Yet again, it was damaged and all this. Same as the first bag. Uh, contacted them one more time. They said they would send me a, another bag and they asked if I could mail them a box to Singapore out of country instead of their facility in Nevada. Well, it was two months later. I mailed them, uh, emailed them back to contact them and see why I haven't received my replacement bag. They said they never received the box that I sent, which it being out of country, it was an like it was like thirty some dollars to mail it. So right now I'm at over fifty five dollars just to get the sports almanac, the bag, and the receipt. And as you can see, I got this in the mail today. This is the third bag they sent. It's in a paper thin yellow envelope again. And it's damaged and bent all the crap. To get the bag in there where it's so big they have to bend it and fold it at their company which already damages it and they don't understand that then once you pull it out where it's I don't know if you'll be able to see all the damage to it but it's damaged pretty bad there's bends, tears, wrinkles and everything in it I just wanted to give everybody a heads up that this company, I mean, the book was in okay condition, but the bag, they keep sending them in this. I'll never order from them again. Every time I have contacted them, they've asked if I could iron it out, but if you can see like the tires and the rips and the bins, there's no ironing that stuff out, and it's a bag you figured that they would just put it in a box instead of folding it at their company and messing it up from the beginning then putting it in something that could take a ton more damage but that's my review and the company is called if I'm not mistaken the customer base the custom base it's on Amazon they deal was supposedly deal in collectibles and stuff like this but this is the last time I'm going to order from them because they don't care how they ship their stuff they want people to collect their stuff and buy their stuff but they ship it already damaged in paper thin envelopes and that's my review of this so save your money and go somewhere else